<laughs> Are you getting this? This intense eye contact. Wait, give it to him. Look at this from Windsor. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, we're backstage at Lollapalooza. It is day two. Welcome, Jordan. Oh, my Thank you God. For having me. You're playing Lollapalooza. Yeah. Is that pretty, insane? Pretty fun. I love that you're like, yeah, it's fun. It's no big deal. It's fine. Uh, you were here last night, right? Yeah, we got in last night and we caught some of Billie Eilish's set. And how was, was fun. it? It was very fun. Did she invite you on stage? No, she had the stage covered. Oh, okay. Yeah. She. I figured, you know. Yeah. But Maybe next time. We'll just let her know, because you know she's watching. Shout out to Next Billy. time you need some help, just hit up your boy Jordan. Windsor, yeah. he's, he's ready for it. Yeah. So uh, let's go, because you're pretty kind of breaking. It's your first time in Chicago, yes? First, well, I was here last year opening for Alche in Portugal, the men. Wow. So that was my first time, but this is my first Lollapalooza. Okay, have you actually had time in the city? Or are you kind of in I and out? I love the, uh, the Art Institute, the museum. It's wonderful. Okay, is there a specific exhibit that speaks to you? There's a ginormous Georgia O'Keeffe painting of the clouds, and uh, I feel that painting strongly. Okay. It's I beautiful. Love that that is a beautiful thing because when you're touring and especially you're on the come up and you're busy, you know, doing sound checks and you've only got a certain amount of time in a city to take the time to actually immerse yourself in the local art is awesome. Is that something you kind of make a point to do in each city, try to go to museums? It's one of the best things about touring is you get to go to try all the good restaurants, mm -hmm. all the good coffee, and all the good museums. I feel, I feel like you've done this for a very long time. You're like an old soul <laughs> that knows the right way to tour. You're not like eating McDonald's. And Windsor's only been touring for a year and a half. Okay. So and he just knows my how solo to get it thing, done. My solo thing is been Don't very, very young. All right, so do you always talk about yourself in the third person? <laughs> Windsor is well, hungry. Well, like, I, I say that because I have a, a group of musicians with me. So yes. when I say that, I'm talking of about course. myself and... The royal you. Yeah, myself okay. and my band. But it is your band. It is. You are the impetus of this amazing project. And Windsor came from... Am I correct in saying it's a street that you grew up on in Santa Cruz? Yeah, I'm from Santa Cruz, California, and Windsor's the street I grew up on. So and the what? Windsor is the street I grew up on. Every time you say Windsor, this keeps blowing at me. I feel like, dude, are you in control of the wind? Maybe. At Lollapalooza? I would not be surprised. <laughs> All right, so growing up on Windsor Street, Avenue, mm -hmm. Boulevard? Street. Street. Uh, did you grow up in a musical household? Yeah, so my mom was into folk music, like Joni Mitchell, and my dad was into rock music. And when I became a teenager, I started playing in bands and rebelling against them and playing punk rock music yeah. and um, playing house parties and local DIY shows in my town. And um, I've just always loved it. And my dad had a guitar around always and my mom played the piano so it was a musical household they were amateur musicians i would say okay not professional sure but i grew up in a pretty blue collar family you know my dad was a principal my mom owned a roofing company wow. so it was like music was medicine and it was fun and i didn't really expect it to become a career, mm -hmm. you know, it was just always a passion, and now we're here. Now you're playing Lollapalooza. Did you ever see this in your in your forecasted future? I did not have this in the bingo <laughs> card of 2023, but happy to be here. Well, it's very well deserved. We're very glad you're here. Um, I'm curious how you hooked up with Macklemore. That was kind of a big get. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that was unexpected. Um, so I have a mentor uh, in LA who is a successful songwriter. Um, I learned a lot from him. I looked to him for sort of advice. Um, and he would hire me to sing on demos for him. He would write melodies that he would pitch. Oh my God. The, the wings are getting coming angry. for you. <laughs> so he would have me sing these melodies that he would write and send to other artists. And so I sang this one melody for him that was produced by Ryan Lewis. Okay. And they really liked my performance on it and called me up and were excited. 
and they asked me to be on the song. That's so cool. And so we did that song, and then in the middle of that, promoting it's it's called Next Year. Um, promoting Next Year, we I said to Ryan Lewis, I was like, "Do you want to write for my project with me? Do you want to make a Windsor song?" So we we got in the studio and we wrote this song and sat on it for a little while, and then about four months later, he called me and was like, "Hey." Would you want to do have Macklemore do verses on the song that you wrote? And I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So then that song came out and it's on his album. It's called Maniac. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then there's a second song, yes? No, that was uh, the second song. You, it was next no, year. You and Ma Macklemore. I thought there was a second song. Yeah, there is a second yeah, song. Yeah. The first one was next year. Sorry, the first one was next year. The second one I was Maniac. Okay. Yeah. I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm very affected by what's happening behind me. Yes. <laughs> All right, the EP is out, Where the Redwoods Meet the Sea, kind of an ode to Santa Cruz. Is there an album coming? Are you? Do you think you're just going to do the EP thing? No, there's a there's new music in the works. A whole album? Yeah, maybe. maybe. Can't really say, but it's I, in the works. You we got a say. lot of new music coming, so you can say you're yeah. you're uh, look for some some long longer form music next year. Okay, maybe like an opus. <laughs> I don't believe in opuses. No? No. Because then because once you make an opus, then everything after that is just less it's good. A, it's not an opus. No. Unless you only do opuses from now on. I'm just putting it out there. I'm an op I'm gonna become an opus artist. <laughs> everything is my opus. All right. I know. <laughs> I gotta let you uh get going. I know you've got a sold out show at Shuba's tonight. Yep, very, sold out show at Shuba's. Very exciting with happy little Super fits. Pumped. Yeah. Um and I know that you are um, you have a huge heart. You're an activist of sorts, and you support causes. Is there anyone in particular that you're really wanting to draw some attention to right now? Um, well, I particularly love being in nature. and Like this kind of nature? <laughs> sure. Um, there's, a, there's a foundation that cleans up beaches um, in my town, where I'm from, called Surfrider. Okay. It's a great organization. They clean up the ocean. The Pacific Ocean, there's a ginormous floating piece of plastic in it currently. And I don't know, I would love for the generations after me to be able to enjoy the ocean in the way that I did as a kid. So, Surfrider. Surfrider.org? I think it's .com. Okay, we will link it in the comments below. Make sure you check it out. Donate if you can. Yeah. It's an amazing cause. Let's protect, let's protect the ocean. Let's, let's protect it's up the outdoors. To us. It's up to us. And it's up to you to catch Windsor tomorrow, taking the BMI stage at 320. If you can't make it to Grant Park, you can stream it on Hulu. Jordan. And check out my new song, Get Lost. And check out his new song, Get Lost. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Jordan, Windsor, Lollapalooza.